So there was five borders that you were, you crossed, and um, one of the things I wrote down the other day was Canada. Yeah. What happened in Canada? Um, well, I flew to Toronto, Toronto on a bus to Niagara Falls. Yeah. Found a little B and B there, right on the front. You mm -hmm. have the front door. You got the spray on you, right by the Niagara Falls. Yeah. And the bridge was just there to walk over. Mm -hmm. You just walk over there. So that's what I done. Yeah. I waited a week. To pluck up because I've been turned back that many times. I was mm. I was scared. Of, it, it was getting a bit scary near the end. I thought they're gonna end up putting me in jail if I keep trying. They want to know why I want to get in the country. They must think there's something. Yeah. I can't say it. My kids are there. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So um, it was getting a bit edgy near the end of me trying to get over. Mm. I was nearly giving up. Yeah. <clears throat> so when I get to Niagara, he gives me passport, mm -hmm. puts me computer. Sorry, can't come in and send me back. Yeah, yeah. And then I got a taxi over the bridge mm -hmm. and sent me back. Yeah. So then I got a flight. I went back to Toronto, got a flight to Cancun mm -hmm. and then busted from Cancun to Tijuana. Right. It took me nine days. Nine days on, on a, a bus. bus through Mexico? Yep. What and was that journey like? Through Mexico, Mexico. Not, not through the nice, pretty Mexico, through the mountains. What was the journey like? A nightmare. Very frightening at first until was I got it? used to the... The people, yeah, because it's the old Mexicans, the proper you're not the you speak English or the proper old Mexican people, you know. Where the witch, one of the witches, come up to me, the um, what are they called, they've got a name, the witch doctor, like a shaman or something. Yeah, he they stopped off at this little stop off because the driver has to stop, obviously, and they change drivers at certain places, yeah. <clears throat> so it was like an hour stop off. Um, so I'm just sat outside because I, I didn't know what else to do, couldn't mm. speak the language, I couldn't eat the food, so. Just sat there, yeah, <laughs> outside yeah. the bus, and this he had all the gear on, the everything he had the full gear all set up, and he comes over to me, and he's turning it away to me, and I didn't have a clue what he said to me. He's giving me this. I don't know if you remember it, but I'd, I'd never took it off. It mm. rotted away in the end with the showers. This little bracelet, yeah, and he's putting it on my wrist, and I'm going, no, oh, no, 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 like this. And he's going, what was it? He said, um, you travel, you travel. I thought, well, he knows that I'm on a bus, yeah. <laughs> State the obvious. Yeah. He's going long, long, like this. He's long. And I'm going, right. And he's going, you take this. So I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. So and he made me take it. And I went to give him money and he wouldn't take any money off me. Really? He's like, no, because he's not supposed to take money for if they're proper. He yeah. don't take money and he wouldn't take any yeah. money off me. Yeah, wow. And the driver, and I'm talking to the driver and I'm saying, I don't understand what he's saying to me. He's saying he's wishing you luck on your long journey. Yeah. You will get to where you're going. But be very, very careful. Really? Yeah. Wow. And did anyone dodgy approach you? One lad at the back of the bus did. Mm. Mm. What happened in that? He got punched in the nose. <laughs> Basically. Can you describe how he approached you? Well, he just thought he could put his hands on me. Over the back of the chair. Yeah. Hi. Fucking dickhead. What a yeah. dickhead. Yeah. So we got punched yeah. right in the face. Um, he jumped up as though he was going to do something about it. Did he? So I stood up and then one of the women, she must have seen, one of the little old ladies must have seen what was going on and, yeah. blah, 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 and the driver threw him off the bus. Did he? Yeah. Good. Don't know what she said to him. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. Yeah. But she, he chucked him off the bus. Good, good. He'd been on the bus for quite a while, this lad. Yeah. And I could see him watching me and really? on and off the bus and he could see I was on my own and I was yeah. fun. Yeah, so I think yeah. he thought he could... Uh, Take a liberty. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking liberty. <laughs> <laughs> so I punched him in the face and he stood up. So I stood up. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do right now, you little fart? Yeah. I'll put you through the fucking window. Yeah, yeah. But this little old one with the scarf, she's doing a little thing, and she's... <laughs> in, the, in the Spanish... <laughs> like, they're screaming her head off, shouting, and the bus driver stops, and he's... You know, they're just shouting back and yeah. and I'm like... I thought, I thought they're going to throw me off the bus. I said, well, he put his hands on me tits. I said, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I, Because I thought they were coming to get me off the bus. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. And chucked him off the bus. Good, good. Yeah. That was only the ones, but that made me more aware then, more alert, then I couldn't close yeah. my eyes and I couldn't sleep. For nine days? Yeah, I was like that on the bus. It's, every time the bus stopped, I was like, that's you got on and got off, you know, like that. Did you, like, did the bus, like, stop whereby you got off and had a rest or anything? Only for five, ten minutes here and yeah. there. Like, because he had to have a rest, he was driving. And, and the only chair... Was there a toilet on the bus? No. 
How did that work then? Well, you'd stop off. Yeah. And you'd have to go either in a bush or in a hole in the ground or Bloody a gas hell. station if there was one around, because it was the middle of nowhere. Yeah, Literally yeah. Literally the middle of nowhere. Was there some beautiful scenery? Oh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful place. What does it look like? It's gorgeous. It's like there's a lot of mountains, which I didn't know. There's a lot of mountain areas there. Yeah, yeah. Very, very green. It's beautiful, beautiful place. It's like... Yeah. Like you'd imagine it, like, you know, you're going down the little back streets and all that, and like little yeah. back roads and yeah. little yeah. dirt roads and that. Yeah. The people are lovely, very friendly, even though they couldn't speak your language, they're very, mm. very friendly people, lovely people. So you generally felt safe? Yeah, until like certain incidents, which obviously, otherwise I felt all right, so I just felt dirty. Yeah, yeah. And smelly. Yeah, I stunk yeah. out, I smelled like a dirty, rotted dog. Oh. Like a corpse or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. It was awful. So when you got off the bus at the very end of that journey, what was the relief like? Oh, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just to see Peter and everybody, and just to people who you, you recognise some anybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. English people. Yeah. Yeah, it was just... Was there couldn't believe I'd actually done it. Was it like, were you thinking, like, am I actually going to make this? At, at some point, I didn't think I was. Yeah. I never thought I'd get there. Yeah. But because I thought my kids were there, mm -hmm. kept me pushing. Yeah. I didn't know Peter had sent them home. Yeah, yeah. That was in the millennium when I was in Canada, he'd sent them home. Yeah. 